Hey everyone, I'm Ultraviolet4, and this is part 14 of Hillock Fighter of Beer. Welcome back. My internet's been pretty bad this morning, so hopefully we'll make it through this one. When it rains, the old copper phone lines can really struggle. <laughs> first world country, by the way. In the last episode, we picked up our first hell rune, which was the bone rune of Zot. We did Tartarus. I think that's how you say it. I used to say Tartarus, but I'm pretty sure it should be Tartarus. Uh, we beat Aresh. Uh, we stole her bone rune, added it to our collection. We've got four more to go. That's in total. There are three more hell runes and one final one, which is going to be two. Before we carry on, uh, there's something I'd like to do. We need to catch up a little bit on respect paying. Uh, it was pointed out to me by Grug that I missed a couple. Uh, so I'd like to put those guys into the into the record. So thank you, Grug. <laughs> uh, if you ever want to have a look, it's question mark and then colon. It's your your notes. Uh, so you see here, it will enter a note that your allies died, so you can find out that way, but it's always good to also have the respects in there. Uh, because this is going to go into your morgue file. So when you're looking at this 10 years in the future, and you're reminiscing back about the good times, uh, you want to know who your orcs were, and that they didn't die in vain. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, speaking of which, uh, there is something else that I'd like to do, uh, and that is to inscribe this glaive of holy wrath. So, uh, if you saw the last one, you would have seen that we had a very brave orc who came to an unfortunate end in the form of Brunoff. Uh, he did excellent work with this glaive, so I would like to inscribe that. Uh, just with his name, so that any orcs who wield it in the future can think of him while they're wielding it. <laughs> it's kind of funny with Brunoff actually, funny in a sad way. If you think about it, we worked together to stick so many fiends in nets, and then he got stuck between some fiends. It was bad, man. Alright, let us that's enough <laughs> orc misery. Uh, let's play the game now. Uh, so our next one would be one of the hell runes. We're doing Tomb Lost. Uh, the thing is, we had to smite quite a lot in that last one. We dropped down to three pips of piety. Uh, it would also be extremely helpful if we could get Necromutation going. Oops, sorry. Panicking. Uh, if we could get Necromutation going before doing the rest of these runes. Uh, we, we did the one that has Dispel and Dead Fiends, so now uh, being able to be a Lich would be extremely useful in all of these coming runes, just in order to be immune to Torment. So what I'm thinking we might do, both to get our Piety up and to get our training up to try to get Necromancy castable, so Necromutation, uh, we might go do a Zig. Zigs. Alright, so, Ziggs, um, I was asked about one of these earlier, but I said I'd explain it now, so how do these work? Basically, it's 27 floors, where every floor you go down, it will get harder, and these floors are themed, so when you go in, you need to have all your resistances, and I mean all of them, I think we're lagged out. Oh, come on, game. Damn you. Australian infrastructure. Come on now. Alright, well anyway, you need to have absolutely all of your resistances, um, and that includes our corrosion, which I'm not sure we have, that's what I was about to check there. Uh, because you can get slime themed floors. Um, the reason that I would say not to go into these in a three room game, and I don't think I normally, I'm trying to think if I've ever gone in one on this channel, I probably have. There can be extreme circumstances. Say you have the teleportation 
No. Teleportitis, there we go, mutation, and you want to get rid of it before you do Zot, uh, you might come into a Zig, or say, well this would be dangerous, but say your game had spawned absolutely no RF at all, maybe going into a Zig would be better than trying to fight Orbs of Fire, like that. So, there can be reasons, but the one that I would say, the main one that I would say don't do it, is because even on the early floors, there is no guarantee that they're going to be easy or safe. Your first floor might have a Panlord and a Fiend. I've seen that happen. <laughs> you, you're just coming in Zig 1. Should be pretty simple. We'll get some free loot. No. Welcome to Panlord. And if you're a 3 room character, you do not want to be fighting Fiends or Panlords. And definitely not both of them together. We don't have our Corrosion with us. So we should pick that up before we go in. Oh right, our only Arc Corrosion is literally Acid Dragon Scales, I remember now. We'd have to cough our single potion of resistance. Um, are there more of those in the game? Yes, I briefly remember that there's another one we can buy. I'm going to go do that before we go into the Zig. Uh, so in a 15 room game, there are two potential Zigs that you can always get into. Let's grab the Might. We may as well sort of buy this shop out while we're here. <laughs> Alright, uh, so there's always going to be an entrance to one in depths. And then you will always get a figurine in tomb. But because tomb is now uh, the 15th room that you do most of the time, uh, that's not going to happen very often. You more likely keep that as an escape option. So. Do you try to finish them? Mostly no. Um, unless you specifically build your character for doing Zig, so you, you've got Firestorm and you've got you know, a whole bunch of crazy things like Control Blink, you probably don't want to be finishing them. They're extremely dangerous. Once you start getting down to the deeper floors, you can have in, almost entire floors just filled with panels. It's very, very dangerous. And then, um, final thing, if you do manage to finish it though, you get a Ziggurain figure out at the end. And you can keep doing Zigs infinitely that way. It gets harder every new Zig you do though. Alright, so let's let's do some. This is going to do, see, I mean, uh, we're okay at this stage in the game. But even a Cursed Skull is quite scary for a 3 room character. It's going to torment you. It's going to uh, summon a bunch of things on your head. Like this. Hey, our axe is doing nothing. I'm gonna have to smite it. But look at that. <laughs> There's never such thing as an entirely safe zig. Um, but we get loot. Uh, this loot is gonna get better as you keep going. Um, I'm hoping that we can get our piety back, although we just dropped it to two there. Um, I also want to quaff a curing. We're on 299 HP out of 300, so. That will make me feel much better. <laughs> Just calmer. We're back to full HP. Um, but I'm also hoping that we can get our experience up for Necromutation. It was pointed out to me by Busy Buzz, who has a great name, that we could in fact kind of cheat by first learning a transmutation form that melds our shield and our armor, casting that first, and then casting. Uh, What's that thing? And then casting Necromutation. So for instance, Spider Form or Ice Form. Um, I will note though that we have never found Ice Form. And I actually am going to look in my spell list this time. I think I did Ice From. Ice Form. No Ice Form. So we can't do that. Uh, and Spider Form has a, um, a spell casting penalty associated with it in order to discourage you from doing exactly this. So, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, once we come out of the Zig, if we never find Ice Form, I might just have a look at Spider Form just to see what that's like. Because I'm curious. It's an interesting idea. And I think I said this, but I really like the name Busy Boss. It always makes me laugh. There's a book. Maybe that's our... It gave us Ignition. Okay. A uh, very useful spell for doing Zigs. Uh, not a great one for us though. Need a lot of fire. Okay, let's 
get that flayed ghost. I'm hitting Control X to show all the things in view. Um, I'm I'm kind of curious about this glowing aiming star, such that I'm willing to wield it. So if you have a look, our maces and flails have cross trained with our axes, so we already have ten. I'm just thinking, if this is a holy wrath evening star, that would be a pretty good find. Although when I say that, uh, we can't, we couldn't then use it with um, transmutation, so that wouldn't work anyway. When you become a lich, you're now undead. You can't wield holy wrath weapons. Alright, this is a sneak one. Um, I want to have our Aralek on. <laughs> um, you might think, at this point in the game, why are you afraid of shock serpents? That's because electricity partially ignores your AC, so it always hurts, even at this stage of the game. It is that one. Control X. Uh, a ring of the octopus, octopus king. Uh, these are usually not too exciting. Yeah. Although in saying that, that's a C invis ring. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Uh. All right. Yeah, yeah. We'll keep that because that Aralek one that I just put on is actually not our best Aralek ring. It's just the one that I've been carrying because it's our only source of C invis. Uh, so this is good. Nice. Um, not a very exciting ring though. I think the best thing about octopus rings is if you have a uh, worm, no, if you have the trident of the octopus king, each octopus ring you have gives it extra sling. It's pretty funny. Uh, Zig five. How many are we going to do? I don't know. Basically, we'll just keep going until, or if I start feeling like we're in trouble. Um, I'm going to pull our crossbow out so that we can portal projectile snipe the Nekosec and not get mutated. Um, it's on that key. We may as well... Oh, he's over there. Okay. So we just shoot him from behind these other things. It means we don't have a chance to get mutated. I'll kill the orange brain too. And then we'll switch back to our axe. But yeah. Um... Basically, until or unless we start um, seeing some seriously scary flaws, I'll probably keep going. Um, enchant weapon scroll. The game's really lagging out. Um, I think I'll just throw that on our Glaive of Holy Wrath for the moment. I've kind of given up on us ever finding a different axe. And it's probably worth testing out these scimitars. Nope. And this dagger. Mm, not a big deal. Okay. We already have a scimitar that has in plus eight. That's the main thing I was looking for. Extra intelligence. Because this whole other form thing might not change. And really, it's not ideal. Not only does it take a turn, but you are going to lose your armor. So let's say we're doing this strategy in hell. We switch into a spider. We've now got no armor where uh, we lost our resistance as all our AC. That one turn, we're going to be very vulnerable to just getting blown up. So um, we might just want to be wielding all the imp we can get and then becoming a witch. This is an L4. Uh, I'm not playing this slowly, that's just my game lagging up. I wonder if that's... No, I'm pretty sure it's my internet. It's been raining. <laughs> Come on, game. There we go. What do we have? Um, nothing too exciting. You see that the number of items that we're finding is increasing there. Exploring. Ah, oh, yes, I keep forgetting to cast our regen, of course. Uh, I should be doing that between every floor, but I've been lazy. Um, I'm seeing spooky trees. This might indicate an undead floor. Um, if we have to stop fighting greater mummies, I'm actually quite afraid. Because uh, we're not really ready to fight greater mummies just yet. Um, our vile clutch has dropped to 11%. Why has that happened? 
Ah, uh, because we're learning even more necromancy. Okay. Thinking this, I don't know. We might have to mutate out of this mutation. Your spells are harder to cast but more powerful. That really hurts. We're trying to cast level 8 spells in gold dragon scales. To then have them be even more difficult is really rough. Come on, game. You can tab faster than this. Come on, game. Alright, good. Found a shiny buckler, I guess. <laughs> plus one buckler protection. Not quite as good as our plus ten large shield. A manual of throwing. Curious. Um, I don't think we're going to throw things at this point. Keep enchanting the holy, holy wrath glaive. Uh, I'm going to drop the manual of throwing. We're not going to throw things. And the shiny buckler. It's not going to be good. Uh, sack of spiders. Um, are we ever going to train evocations? And are there a million more of them around anyway? One, two, three of them. I'm ignoring the one in Tartarus because I'm not going to Tartarus 7 to get a sack of spiders. This is not happening. <laughs> Literally walking through hell. <laughs> um, eh, I don't know. I feel like by the time we get all the necromancy training I want, we'll be out. And it's okay, we've got item slots. Let's just pick up the sack of spiders. Maybe we'll train a bunch more evocations. The sack of spiders will become useful. This is a beast themed floor. Um, these star cursed masses are a real worry uh, while they're behind stuff because they're going to keep splitting and eventually if there are enough of them they're going to paralyze us. So let's go with the portal projectile. I want to kill those guys. Yeah, it's still splitting anyway. <laughs> okay, I think the better play is actually just run at them and hit them all with the axe. Yeah, that one's better. <laughs> oh, right, I just noticed we got an orc. I didn't see you in there, buddy. Let's keep you alive. Uh, you've got a Bardish. We got two orcs. Oh, okay, I didn't notice. One of them has been named. He's Rocco. Rocco with a Bardish of freezing. And we have another orc knight who has no armor. Okay, that's cool. So we got a couple more followers in here. Um, let's see. Ah, there's one. I was about to say, by this time, um, potions of experience will start to become more common. So, uh, we can start putting these into purely trans mutations. It's not a lot. It's going from 8.7 to 9.6, but every little bit will help. Is this... Where's our necro mutation? Still 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder how much skill we need. Um, I think our orcs will keep following us through floors, although I'm not 100%. No, they stay there. Okay, so that's alright. Uh, we can recall them out. They're not stuck in the zig forever. But we can't keep going on with them, which is a bit sad. Alright, here's, here's our first scary looking floor. It looks like a pan themed one. We've got a bunch of demon spawns and a pan lord that we've seen. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is get portal projectile up. Um, I was hoping we could snipe the pan lord, but he doesn't seem to have seen us, which actually might be better, because then we can fight this other stuff first. Um, I don't like that one of these guys, I think it's you, the corruptor is making a bunch of star cursed masses, because we talked about those, they can potentially paralyze us. So I'm, I'm going to smite him. There's something in the way. I can't smite him through that wall, apparently. Apparently he wasn't the one that was making them. It might be this guy. Uh, and we've got pan we've got the Pan Lord coming. Um, all right. So we've got eight scrolls of blinking. So that's, that's going to be our escape plan here if we need to be. We might need to do a couple. We'll go one up here and then we'll blink again towards the exit or the next floor down. Um, no, I think we need to get rid of the Star Coast Masses. And here's a Hellion. Alright, well, rip. 
rip all our piety that we we're trying to save. Actually, I'm not too afraid of the Hellion. That's okay, because he's not going to hellfire us when we're surrounded by a bunch of other things. Quick check on our MR. We've got three pips. I really hope this Panlord doesn't have... He has summoned vermin. What a sad Panlord. Um, I shouldn't say that yet, but I really hope he doesn't have paralysis. Uh, we're just going to take this really slowly. There's a fiend. Um, he needs to die. Um, we've got other things summoning really scary stuff. Again, we can't smite him around the pylon. Alright, let's keep going. Um, okay, Titanic Slimes can kit for 110 damage. So we actually need to get out of here. Um, and what do we want? Run Zig 9. So I hope this is giving you an idea of why... Um, Zigs can always be scary. Like, say you came in here as a three rune character again, and you were thinking, I'll just do the top ten floors of the Zig, they won't be too scary. But look at this one. We've had fiends, hellions, panlords, uh, demon spawns making titanic slime creatures. Very, very scary. Let's read our scroll of blinking. Uh, let's quickly have a look at all the loot that we can see, because we might want to grab it all. Uh, yeah, I think we should blink again, because now the, the Hellion can start hitting us with the Damnations. So I'm going to blink to the next stair down. I'm going to be greedy, I think. And we can we can import this stuff here that we've seen that we want. Um, so that's a Potion of Mutation. We want that. We want the Scroll of Acquirement. We want uh, Enchant Armor. Uh, I'm doing this kind of slowly. Let's get... The artifact amulet. This other stuff we might not have time. The pen lord's running us down. Um, mutation potions, we've got eight. We're gonna have nine. What else can we see? Mm, just this stuff. Um, we got lots of teleport scrolls. 31, yeah, indeed. I'm gonna be greedy. Let's get the mutation as well. <laughs> Alright, remember to pick it all up. And let's go down. Alright, uh, I don't see a silence field. Uh, this is kind of scary too. Uh, keep our regen up. Things are going to start running in now. Looks like we've got our poison. Um, let's hand crossbow him. Alright. It hurts though. Alright, maybe I shouldn't have been this greedy. Yeah, there's a Doomhound and a Silence Field. Alright, uh, okay, we're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to lose this character in a Zeke, that would be so embarrassing. Alright, uh, so what are, what things are we going to do? Uh, first, I think we should haste. Next, I think we should cure out of all this poison. Okay, we're now howled, so it's going to be summoning fiends. Uh, next, I think we should maybe smite the Death Drake because it's owning us pretty hard. Um, what have we got? We are very frail at the moment. Potions are less effective at restoring our health. So, um, I noticed that the, the Silence Field is gone. Um, I think it might be time to escape if we can. It might just be that whatever it is... Um, moved back, so there might be a silent spectre, um, but we need to be escaping right now I think, so let's go scroll blinking, yeah, okay, so now we're in the silence field, um, how screwed are we here, I'm trying to think, we don't know what else is over there, if there are a bunch of greater mummies as well, we're in so much trouble, but we're howled, so we're going to have uh, demons running on top of us. Okay, new plan. Step out of the silence. Please let us out of the silence. Okay, I want to smite to death the Doomhound. Oh no. Okay, good. Um, now, next thing I want to do is read a or quaff a potion of cancellation. Uh, it will get rid of the how. Because that is the thing that I'm most afraid of right now. That we're going to start getting Tsitsumals landing on our head. Um, uh, we're going to lose our haste as well. But I'm 
again, more afraid of the hell. So let's cancel. And we need to take this really slow because we're dying here. Uh, let's haste again. All right. And then new plans. All right. Uh, so we're out of magic points. That's also not good. Um, we could conceivably just buff up here and then just fight this stuff. Because uh, nothing else scary has come in. Um, the Bone Dragons, they do hit for a lot of damage, but we have 47 AC and 36 shield. So they're not too scary. Um, because we still don't know what's in the unknown here. That's the thing that I'm worried about. If I commit to running out of here, I'm going to have to run through the silence. And if there's something like a greater mummy, or there's another doomhound, or there's a fiend over here, uh, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. What if I... I'm going to quaff a heal wounds and see how much that does. Okay, it does a bit... gave us 20 or so. It's less um, effective than it should be, but that gave us a bit more breathing room. So I think I don't mind here. Let's might... And then let's Agi. Okay, and then let's slowly fight this. <laughs> Man, this is fun. Um, I want to leave the Ziggs. Never again. We're in the silence field. Uh, so that's not so good. But it's okay. Gold dragon zombie. Yeah, it's like the scary places. Uh, let's get our region up. Let's try to heal. And I don't want to leave now. I don't want to be in the Zig anymore. They're too scary. We're losing all our blinking scrolls too. We're down to five of those. There's the silent spectre that caused us so much trouble. Alright. Well, we made it just. <laughs> uh, what's over here? A blackened book, that might be our ice form. We have 22 identify scrolls, so we may as well just use them on stuff. Uh, what do we want to acquire? Oh, that's a good question. Um, we could get armor. We could go for jewelry and try to get a good amulet. Uh, what would be really good would be an Amulet of Faith that also gives us a bunch of stats as well. Um, I would love to have a helmet that's not just a plain plus two helmet though. Maybe we'll go armor. We're lagged out again. Come on game. Some sort of other large shield would also be pretty good. Um, because once and if we can get Lich form going with transmut trans Necromutation, uh, we'll be immune to RN. So this extra RN won't help us, but the int minus four will. Um, yeah, so we'll go armor. Maybe we'll get some artifact large shield. That's if we can get our game back, because we're just... Oh, there we go. Alright, we're back. Let's go armor. Embroidered gloves. Plus two gloves of strength. No thanks. I care more about the extra sling that we can get for archery. Is that true? Yeah, we've got 29 strength already. How do we have so much strength? There's someone on our ring. There's someone on both our rings. Okay, yeah, we're not worried about more strength. Uh, <laughs> gave no extra spells. Plus three fashion and freezing. Um, should we? We'll do one more. Oh god, I already regret my decision. <laughs> uh, always can do one more. Uh, let's regen. I regret my decision. I don't want to be here. Okay, it's not too bad. I think. Uh, we'd like to have our elect though. Because I've seen a bunch of electric enemies already. 
Okay. Yeah, this floor is not so bad. It's it's funny. Well, I guess that's not funny, but um, you get some really really nasty floors in Ziggs, and then you get some that really aren't too big a deal. How are all these things being berserked? What is berserking them? Who's berserking them? Can I really don't know? I haven't seen a moth of wrath. Maybe there's a moth of wrath off screen. Uh, but a lot of these guys can't see invis. The draconians, anyway. Uh, we only have one potion of invis. I don't really want to use that. Ah, we have a vocable invis. Okay, let's do that. So now the draconians can't see us. And if the the scary elves want to go berserk, that's fine. They actually do a lot less damage trying to hit us even more angry than they would with crystal spears. So yeah, I'm fine with that. Still don't know what berserked them though. I haven't seen a Moth of Wrath come in. Oh, I'm, I know, one of them is going to have the Zealot Sword, 100%. Zealot Sword will be here somewhere. Is that... Maybe not? Otherwise, I can't make sense of it. <laughs> uh, embroidered Cloak, let's test that. It's a plus two cloak. Eh, not that exciting. Uh, we should be enchanting our armor, though. Uh, it's only the plus zero cloak we've got. Yeah. I really would love it if we could find a magic resistance one. Alright, uh, what do we got here? Another potion of experience, another potion of throwing. And that's about it. Uh, let's go more transmutations. We bring it to 10.9. It's our, our necromutation is still at 100%. Yeah. Um, and I think we should leave. I think we've messed around with the sig long enough that we'll go to 12. <laughs> we'll do one more. Final, final one. Last one, I promise. Uh, it's. It's an even number. It's more round. I again already immediately regret my decision. Let's get portal projectile up. It's going to give us extra aim on this. Alright, so Lich. Same thing. We just smite. Get him as he comes. Uh, we need to actual smite the cursed skull though. Okay, uh, now let's portal projectile the flayed ghost. Okay, good. Um, I remember that we don't have our RN ring on. We've got the RLEC one on instead. So I should switch that. And yeah, I didn't see the, the sort of the zealot sword in there. So I really am quite at a loss as to how everything was getting berserked in the last floor. Looks like we've done that. We get another potion of experience for our troubles. Oh, there's the artifact large shield that we were looking for. Uh, before... Oh man, if only that had an ice form, this would have been the perfect thing. Uh, let's ID this. Um, plus zero large shield. It has our luck on it though. Yeah. We lose a lot of shield, but we could have Aralek at all times. Uh, we don't care about that amulet. It is now a plus seven Glaive of Holy Wrath. Let's acquire... I'm going to go armor again. 
Okay, shiny chainmail. No good. So this large shield. Um, let's have a look. We go from 26 shield to a lot more. 36. Significantly less shield. We're losing our RN. Um, and let's see. Uh, it drops our necromutation to 99%. Nice. That extra 4 int <laughs> uh, makes it <laughs> not impossible. Good to know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's probably not worth it. Uh, it might. Maybe we could take it into Kakaitis where uh, we need to have Iralek. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll drop it for now though. Alright, so that was our Zig adventures. That was a lot of fun. Um, it went pretty badly, if I'm being honest, though. We got a couple of new orcs out of it, though. Um, so what do we now? Uh, let's go test spider form. We've got three spell levels, so we can. Uh, no, we've... Sorry. We can just learn it. I don't know what I'm doing. Spider form... Spider form does whatever a spider form does. Okay, so we lose. You feel sluggish. Ah, oh, because we lose our boots of running. Okay, so we lose all our AC, as you see here. We drop to two AC in total and zero shield. We're susceptible to poison right now. We have no RF or RC, so it's not a form that we want to be in. But it makes necromutation be 87%. So a little bit better, but not a lot. Um, not This isn't worth it. Uh, Ice form might be better because it doesn't have the spell casting um, penalty that this one does, but that's definitely not worth it. So I'm going to amnesia that. Spider form experiment doesn't work. Uh, maybe we should amnesia shatter as well. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what what we could do here is it might it might be worth it to go to a lighter armor just to be able to cast the necromutation. Actually, at this point, sorry. Uh, well, no. If we're going to do that, I want to keep my enchant armor scrolls. So uh, that might be worth it. But I think I want to do um, this first before doing that uh, because having AC in this is really important it is nice to not get tormented but there is a lot of physical damage in this you have um, lots of executioners you have iron giants and you also have hell sentinels um, executions are the most but anyway there's a lot a lot Of physical damage there. I don't know how to spell scimitar. <laughs> I want to have the plus eight int scimitar with us. The science that also drops our necromutation to ninety nine percent. If we quaffed brilliance, I wonder if we could. Probably not. I don't want to test because we'll waste it. But. Uh, what about just wizardry? Our stuff of wizardry is upstairs. A lot of experimenting. I've never, I've never messed around really with trying to cast necromutation like this in gold dragon scales. So this is the first to me. All right, with stuff of wizardry, our necromutation becomes ninety four percent. All right, so we still we need a bit. Um, I think I don't think we're going to realistically get that castable unless I downgrade my armor. So that's the plan. We're going to do this, and then maybe we'll drop to a lighter armor for Lich form. All right, well, let's go do this. Anything else we want to drop before we go in? Not really. You kind of need to have a bit of everything in this. You're going to see all the types of fiends, potentially. Um, of course, like the rest of extended, you want all the RN that you can get because you're going to get tormented. 
and shield and AC are really good in there for the aforementioned physical damage. You feel watched and a long way from sort. <laughs> True. Um, do we want to bring an orc in with us? I guess we could try to bring one in. So I'm going to do the recall trick. Maybe we can get one of those knights. That one. Here's one of the new ones. Uh, this should be up. Um, I'm going to tell them to wait there. He can have a an armor. So we're going to go get him a gold dragon scales. It's going to make him a lot tankier. Okay. Uh, that's Orcrul, uh, which we can't gift him because we don't have five pips of piety. Okay, never mind. Um, let's get rid of Hal. Goodbye, Hal. And we'll just take Ocrul in. Okay, so Dis. Same plan for Hal. You want to be diving to 7 as quickly as possible because the Hell effect is going to mess with you. Uh, you're not going to find any loot in here that you want. So you just want to get out of here as quickly as possible. That's a pretty good start. I guess we can wait here just a little bit to get him some HP back. He didn't come. Why didn't he come? Was he not adjacent to us on the stair? He was. Why didn't he come? Um, I kind of want to get him back. <laughs> let's go. Let's go back and get him. I don't know. Oh, he, that means he's still sitting on this floor. Okay, where are you? All right, there you are. I don't know why he didn't come. Okro. That's better. Okay. Don't want to be alone. <laughs> that was a. Interesting hell effect. Okrul becomes a warlord. Let's keep our regen up. And keep looking. That's a tormentor. That needs to immediately die. That's another one. Needs to immediately die. Here's our first iron giant. Uh, they have harpoon shot now, so they can pull you into them. Uh, but they have really high damage attacks. They can hit for up to 65. They can throw their allies at you still, apparently. They've got throw ally and harpoon shot. And then they have iron shot. And that iron shot really hurts. That's in addition to them being extremely tanky. Fortunately, we've got Okrul who has a Bardisha Venom. So he's going to be putting out a lot of damage with the Bardisha. We've been drained again. <laughs> no. Our HP is 298 max, let's cure out of that. And I'm, oh, I was going to say, I'm watching out um, Piety to see if we ever get to 5, and just as I said that, we're already at 5. So I'm going to give him the Gold Dragon Scales. So he's going to be uh, much more resilient now that he has those. He's going to have our Poison and then a pip of RF and RC. And I mean, I I could I could ditch him and try to get Beo to gift us more orcs. That's an idea. Uh, the torment is adjacent to us, so I'm just gonna hit it. Yeah, maybe after this floor, I'll ditch Orcrul now that he's fully trained. Ooh. <laughs> it hurts. Let's try and regen. Hacker demon. Alright. Uh, this time, by by now, I don't really want to get extra mutated. We have clarity and robust. And clarity is going to be extremely useful if we ever get into lich form. Because you can't quaff potions. So when you get confused, uh, it's a lot of trouble. So we're just going to sit behind Orkrul and we're going to port a projectile with our crossbow. Although in saying that, uh, if we did get mutated, it would be a good excuse to try to get rid of these spells being harder to cast. Because uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to need to get rid of that at some stage. We're going to need to try. Alright, uh, Okro, you can wait. 
We're gonna go on alone. Another Kaka Demon. Oh, that's almost dead. Alright, you feel frail. Okay, there you go. That's all the, the reasoning I needed. Okay, now let's try and get rid of this. Alright, uh, int minus two, I don't love either. What does that do for our spells? Necromutation becomes 99, and with wizardry, it's 91% chance. Infestation is 41, though. That's curious. We can almost cast that. Um, do we want that imp back? Kind of. We've got plenty of mutation potions, let's keep going. Oh wow, we got rid of the minus imp and we got clarity again. That's amazing. This was almost like the perfect thing I could have imagined. Uh, lost our frail, so we're at 273 HP instead of 300. But that's, that bit's alright. So now... 88% on necromutation. Nice. 38 on infestation. We're getting there. Might yet happen. And let's go. We'll go on without Ocarol. We'll see if we can get some Bio Gifts. Because uh, it would be good if we could get another one with the Holy Glass. Why can't I speak? Holy Wrath Glaive. Just shut the door <laughs> on that Hellion. Made it come to us. Dear 6. I don't want to jinx it, but this has been a lot easier than our time in Tartarus was. Yeah, we've been finding these stairs pretty pretty handily. Now let's match the map, now that we're on disc 7. Um, bit of a maze. So we're, we're going to this room, if you couldn't tell. These outside ones have loot. Think back to how that went last time in Tartarus, where we went to get loot. Not so well. So maybe we'll just go straight to Dispater's chamber. Here's the Lord in this one. We can look him up. Dispater, Lord of the Iron City. Um, has a bunch of scary things. Crystal Spear, Iron Shot, both of those high damage. Has Hell Damnation, which of course ignores your AC and can't miss. And Summon Greatest Demons, so he can summon fiends to him um, while hitting you with all that other stuff. So you're getting tormented. Right. Now, speaking of tormentors. Ah, right. We have no orcs with us, so we can go invis. Right. If it's just you, the tormentor can't see invis, so it won't torment you on your own. Okay, here's a, another iron giant. You always need to be afraid of them. Their iron shot really hurts. Um, and we need to find the door in, which is down here. Once we go inside here, we're going to be meeting a lot of executioners and a lot of hell sentinels. Uh, remember, of course, that we can net hell sentinels. There's a Sitsumo. Um We're already on top of him. We're already full HP, it's just him. I think we can just fight him. Good. Keep the regen up. More iron giants, let's get away. Uh, what's, what's nice about Harpoon Shot is that you can block them. So the fact that we have 36 shield means we're unlikely to get Harpoon Shot. I want to kill him though, before running through the door anyway. Uh, let's go in this, good, let's not get tormented. We get a gift of orcs, and you see there, the tormentor could see the orcs, which is why it decided to then torment. Wow, the hell effect just decided to snipe our orc there, <laughs> what an explosion, that's kind of not fair. Is it demon? Alright, let's keep our region up. Alright. Bring on the executioners and hell sentinels. And caco demons apparently. 
All right, uh, same plan. I really don't want to lose these mutations. They're really good. So let's get portal projectile up. Yeah, as we're doing this, our plane orcs are dying. Our portal projectile ran out. Okay, well the Kaka demon is nearly dead. We'll just finish him off. Warp uh, got slowed. What's slow him? Can Kaku Demon slow? I didn't know that. Indeed they can. Okay. I guess it's because by the time you see Kaku Demons, you normally have sufficient MR to not worry. But that's news to me. Spellcasting to 12. <laughs> that's my doorbell. That's it. Alright, uh, sorry about that. Uh, this time I want to smite the Tormentor though. Uh, we've got an Orc with us so we can no longer go in this. Well, I thought these were treasure rooms. Maybe... No, I don't know. Apparently I was wrong. Maybe they're just in the corner? Uh, we can... We can portal projectile through these statues. Well, we got one shot in. Okay, why well, I lied to you, they're not really treasure rooms. How are these ones? No? <laughs> I don't know, I keep checking because it seems like they really should be. Oh boy, okay. Uh, tormentor time, they need to be smote. Alright, good. Um, our orc has been named to be balked. Oh no, that... Oh no, not balked. This brings back memories. <laughs> uh, well, balked. Balked can have the plus seven holy glaive of wrath. Whoops, that's, I nearly gave him the wrong item. Okay, good. Okay, so he's gonna do a lot more damage now, uh, which is gonna be handy because we're going to start seeing all the extra. Man, tormentors. Uh, but not those. We're going to be seeing all the executioners and so on any second now. Right, on we go. And I am deathly afraid of finding the Serpent of Hell here. Um, I have a bit of history with the Serpent of Hell in this. Uh, it has killed me twice in tournaments. Uh, let's throw him at this guy. Um, including when I was on a 12 win streak. So, um, afraid of him in particular, but also just the Death Serpent of Hell is by far the scariest one. Uh, it really hurts. He has Iron Shot, a bunch of other scary stuff. So I'm really hoping we don't meet him. What is with all the Tormentors? And so the front door is over here. Here's our first Hell Sentinel. There we go. Can be netted. Keep that in mind. Much like the Sitsimals. Oh god, it's actually the Disc of Hell. Uh, okay, well, I need a. <laughs> I'm so scared. I need to fight this guy with a clear mind, so I'm going to stop this episode here. Uh, if you join me in the next one, we will be fighting the Death Serpent of Hell, and then if we can live through that, we'll be fighting Despater. Oh god, help me please. See you next time.